Hey there Rhetorians, welcome to another free cards by email video. My name is Rhetorians and today we're going to open quite a few packs. Actually, we're going to open many, many, many packs. More than I know. I, I should have counted them before starting this video. But anyways, those packs are from Tristan000k. And this is a guy that sent me a message on Instagram. I followed him, he followed me and uh, we are now Instagram friends. And he sent me a message on Instagram asking me if I was interested in few uh, Pokemon DCG Online code cards. And I said, sure, yeah. So he sent a screenshot of four code cards. And uh, I said, whoa, thanks, that is amazing. And he replied like, wait, don't thank me yet. And he sent way, way, way more. In total, I believe they were 24 code cards. So without further ado, let's go for it. And let's first of all announce to you what we're gonna get in this episode. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve burning shadows booster packs. So half of the Code cards were Burning Shadows, we have one Evolutions, one Roaring Skies, one Incineroar DX. So we had an Incineroar uh, DX code card that I believe it contained this guy, but I'm not really sure. It either had this or this. I think it had the uh, full art one. Unfortunately, not, not entirely sure because that was like automatically auto-redeemed. Also, we had the code card uh, with Shiny Tapu Coco. How much I wish it was a Shiny signing Tapu Lele, but it was, it was Shiny Tapu Coco. How can I find this? Oh, okay, signing Tapu. What the hell? Tap. Okay, Tapu. Are you freaking kidding me? That, uh, Tapu Coco. I think it was... Uh, okay, signing was the, the name of the code card. Uh, so, I think that this was it, Tapu Coco. And I believe that it also had something like a deck. Uh, so, it it, all, it contained more stuff that I... I'm sorry, but I don't really remember. We have Burning Winds. Uh, we had the deck Burning Winds. The deck Rocksteady. The deck... Um, st Steel Sun, which I have right here on my packs list. This deck, this deck, and those two decks, basically, and also the Destruction Funk deck, which I'm not going to open. I'm going to give away to the community when my website is ready. That is a little bit overdue. I'm gonna get there at some point, but uh, those deck boxes are going to be for the community because I already have them. Also, we have a Crimson Invasion uh, pack, we have Fates Collides, one pack, Electric uh, Missif, which is a code card that contained another Tapu Coco, and we also have one Sun and Moon booster pack. So let's start uh, with... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna start with the 10 Burning Shadows. One should be... Alright, at this point I need to do a little pose to open... I'm going to open the Trade Locked booster packs for my uh, Instagram pack of the day and I'm going to be back with you after this short break. By the way, if you have not, if you don't know about the Instagram pack of the day, you can check it out in the description of this video. It is on my Instagram profile. I open one booster pack every single day and I do that with my trade locked booster packs. So definitely check this out. I'm gonna be right back with you. All right, my friends, now that I, uh, opened all of the trade locked booster packs for the pack of the day for Instagram which you can check out in the description as I mentioned before I'm going to go straight and open all the packs that Tristan donated starting off with burning shadows and those are 10 booster packs now I really 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 hope to pull this Mars Marcy thing this guy in the cover of the pack because I think that it is extremely playable and I really really need it. So we have a grass type energy, Krogang, a Toadze, oh there are, those are way too many packs so I'm going to go straight for the rares uh, because I really really cannot read all of these. We have a Meow Stick, this is featured in 
Ah, uh, which deck? Uh, Rocksteady, I believe. I'm not really 100% sure. Meowstick with uh, one energy allure, draw three cards, and with two energy hand kinesis, 10 damage times the amount of cards that you have on your hands. It could be good, It uh, it's not always good, but I will not really, really complain about it. I have not seen it in any, any standard decks, but still, it's an interesting card. So, uh, we have two rares in this pack. We are gonna start with the reverse. Oh, actually I'm gonna just take a look. Oh, come on. At this Charmeleon, because the artwork is just insane. So that, that's all, all that I wanted to say. And we have a Polo Sand. That's an interesting card. Looks like I have it for the first time in reverse, but I probably have it. Yeah, I do have it in normal. Uh, it's a holo. And the actual rare. Oh, all right. That is a nice card. It's a ne ne necro Necrozma, G Necrozma GX. That is an amazing card. GX card. I'm so freaking excited about it. 180 HP. Oh, that's quite low for a GX. So I assume it's going to be amazing. Um, Psychic type Pokemon lights and. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from a colorless Pokemon. That's an interesting, interesting thing to have as an ability. With three energy. Ooh, can you imagine any any card that would turn all of your opponent's Pokemon into colorless type? That would be a fantastic strategy. With three energy, prismatic burst. 10 damage plus discard all psychic type energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 60 more damage for each card you discarded this way. So that is 130 for a double colorless. All right, that's okay. That's okay. I'm not really a fan of it. And with three energy, Black Ray GX, this Pokemon, this attack does 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX. The damage, this damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. So you can basically snipe all of your Pokemon, or opponent's Pokemon GX for 100 damage and uh, seriously weaken them to a point where your other Pokemon GX and stuff can just knock them out. So I'm not really impressed. Uh, it's not really what I, uh, hoping, I was hoping for. And I don't know. If you know more, please let me know. Uh, for me, it's not the best, most exciting card, but still... A Pokemon GX, I'm never going to complain for such a card. So we have another reverse color rare. It is a uh, Synotic Strength Slap, 30 damage. How, how is that strengthy? Heal from this Pokemon 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's not that bad, basically. And with 3 energy, Sleep Puzzle uh, plus pass, Pulse, Sleep Pulse. 60 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. That's not that bad. And the rare. Oh! Oh, nice! Tabu Bulu! <laughs> Tabu Bulu DX. Uh, I, I was really. Ex it's a full art. I was really, really excited because I, I don't know. For one second, I thought that I opened Tabu Lele, but it's not in this set, unfortunately. But still, it's another DX back to back. And this one is a full art this time. It's a grass type Pokemon with one energy, horn attack, 30 damage with three energy, nature's judgment, 120 damage. You may discard all energy from this Pokemon. If you do this attack, the 60 more damage. I wouldn't, I don't think that I would discard all of my energy for just 60 more damage, but. You never know, and with 3 energy, Tapu Wilderness GX, 150 damage, kill all damage from this Pokemon. Hmm. I would actually say that it's not that bad for a basic Pokemon, it is definitely aggressive, it is definitely a pain in the ass for your opponent to knock out, even though it has 180 um, HP, what is extremely rare. What is extremely, extremely rare is that this Pokemon is a grass type Pokemon and it doesn't have weakness to fire. This is extremely, extremely rare. Zero weakness, zero resistance. That is perhaps the biggest advantage of this card. I'm super excited for opening it, but I'm going to move forward because I have to. I have to. We have quite a few packs to open, so let's not stand there. So, we have uh, a no reverse called the rare, but a double Lana. This is a funny pull right there. And the actual rare is a Scorlipede, one of the strangest cards that I'm not really sure if I like or don't like for a draft situation. I think that it is perfect though. So this is perhaps the fifth card pack that I open, maybe, if I'm not wrong. And let's hope that we're gonna continue this amazing 
DX streak. We have a Wabafet Reverse Holo Uncommon card, and the rare it is a Tender Growth, 140 HP, Giga Drain, 30 damage heal, and with four energy, Cross Vine, Cross Vise Whip, 50 damage, flip four coins. This attack does 50 damage for its heads, so it could all it could it could deal a maximum of 200, and a minimum of zero. You know me, I don't like coin flips that much, so I'm not going to really pay attention to this ability. I don't know, I, I just don't like coin flips that much. So we have a uh, cutie fly. Uh, okay, and the actual rare. Oh my god, back to back tongue growth. Couldn't I pull back to back ultra rares? I don't know, I, I just did before, but I want more. I want more, I always want more. I think it's very natural. Uh, another cutie fly, is it another tongue growth? No, it's just a Cyanotic, a card that we pulled before as well, so not a lot of excitement right there uh, for me. I'm sorry, at least we're moving a little bit faster now. Uh, it's funny to see that I'm still opening new uh, uncommon and common cards. Wist Wistful Button is an, a good card in my opinion, and the rare, it is a Pasmian fighting with a Lucario. 110 HP, 2 energy punt, and 2 energy intentional grounding. 90 damage. Discard a Pokemon tool card from your hand. If you do, don't. If you don't, this attack does nothing. Are you freaking kidding me? I don't like this. Even though it's a basic, it's a very aggressive card. So that explains why why it has such a had such a huge disadvantage. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Ooh, we have a reverse color rare of a Araquid, Araquid, Araquanid, I believe. 108 HP, 2 energy, double net, 30 damage. Energy can't be attached to the defending Pokemon from your opponent's hand during their turn. That is neat. That is very, very interesting, very controlish. And with 3 energy, Sharp Fang, 80 damage. Very good. Could this be a Pokemon GX? The rest of the times, no, it's not. The rest of the times that we had a reverse color rare, we had a Pokemon GX, so I said maybe, but it's not true. We have an Electros, 140 damage lightning type Pokemon with 2 energy dark clump, 50 damage the defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. That's okay. I'm not sure if that's always good, but anyways. And with 3 energy, Vacuum Bolt, 80 damage plus, you may do 80 more damage. If you do, this attack does 80 damage to one of your Pokemon. Many times I don't really care what happens to my bench. Uh, this is a solid attack in my opinion. And last pack, last pack from the Burning Shadow set. Please be the card in the cover, which I don't remember the name. All right, we have a Punch Age, a Simi Sage, and a Punch Age. That's an interesting, interesting situation there. And the last rare in this pack, it is no, it's just a Malamar. I don't have this card. It is a 108 HP Darkness type Pokemon with one energy, Psy Beam, 20 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused. I do love the confused uh, special condition. With three energy, 70 damage, energy slosh. You may remove all energy from this Pokemon. You may move all energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. I may want to do that, but I may not. So this concludes the Burning Shadows, and we are going to move to Evolutions. We have one Evolutions pack, where is it? Oh, there it is, we have 10, but we're gonna open just one Evolutions pack. Let's hope for the best pulls. I really don't know what to wish for, because I don't remember what cards this, this uh, set contains, but... Oh, it's the, okay. I do remember now. Ooh, looks like we have three, three interesting cards. We're gonna start off with this one. Oh, it's a Ride to Reverse Color Rare card. What an amazing collectible card! Awesome, very, very excited about this. We have a. Oh my God, we pulled the Charizard EX. The it is the. I think that it is the exact same Charizard EX from the Flash Fire set, ability wise. If I'm not wrong. Yes, Combustion Blast, right? It is, but it has a, a more, um, I don't know, um, retro artwork. Fantastic pull right there. Very, very excited about this one. And the actual rare is a Here Comes Team Rocket supporter card. Each player, uh, each player turns all of his or her prize cards face up. Those prize cards remain face up for the rest of the game. So you can basically see what your opponent has, and you can also see what you have. 
that is interesting. But uh, the Charizard here is the old star, old star, fantastic, fantastic pack overall. Three rares and one of them being ultra rare. Awesome. I'm gonna press done and move forward. We have a Roaring Skies booster pack. Now I would uh, hope for a same in EX in normal circumstances, but we had same in EX in the versus rewards ladder last week, so I really hope not. That is a that's a bad thing. It's not that I don't hope to pull the same in EX, but whatever, whatever comes. We have reverse holder air of a Absol that used to be playable. I'm not sure if it is still. And the action rare it is a. <laughs> Sedinja, I'm not sure if you can see how many I have, 5 tradable and 10 freaking trade locked So if you want any, please let me know, I'm gonna give you one for free Moving on, we have a Burning Winds, that's a theme deck Crimson Invasion Where are you? Where are you hiding, Crimson Invasion? Uh, there you are! So a Crimson Invasion booster pack, let's crack it open Let's see what we have and then we don't have quite we don't have quite a lot of packs left for this episode, my friends. I'm sorry. I think that this is it, and one, two more. Yeah, this one and two more. So uh, we have a oh nice silverly GX. I think this is the full art. 210 HP. Um, what is it? Colorless type Pokemon with one. Uh, the ability is a Gyro unit. Your basic Pokemon in play have no retreat cost. Oh my god, that is fantastic! And with two hundred, uh, three energy, Turbo Drive, one hundred and twenty damage. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Very, very, very nice. With three energy, Rebel GX, fifty damage times. This attack does fifty damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So this can be a lot of damage with uh, Skyfields. I think that I completed the full playset of this. So I have uh, these... How do those differ? Oh, this is signing! This is not, but this is signing! If I'm not wrong, right? That's how it looks like. So I don't, I don't have a full playset, but I have two. I have two now, and this is very, very interesting, uh, an awesome pull, I'm very excited about this, I'm gonna press done. So that was the Crimson Invasion set, so we have one Fates Collide, sort of an old set there, with Alagazams and stuff, so let's go for it. I'm not sure if I have Alagazams and Mega Alagazams, but I would love to pull one, just for the fun of it. And oh, double devolution spray, very very good card, very interesting good card. And the rare, oh my god! I cannot freaking believe that I pulled what I asked for. I asked for an Alakazam EX, and there you go, <laughs> there we have it. I'm pretty sure that I have more, but uh, looks like I don't. Maybe I have them on my trade account. Maybe doesn't explain the situation otherwise. Alakazam EX, it is. Mega kin uh, actually ability uh, kinesis when you play Mega Lagazam from your hand to evolve this Pokemon before it evolves you may put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon and three damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, so uh, one bench Pokemon basically. So that's how you prepare for Mega Lagazam, which deals damage uh, according to what damage your opponent already has with three energy supp suppression put three damage counters on each of your opponent's pokemon that has any energy attached to it very interesting card the biggest disadvantage of this card and mega lagasm uh, for this matter is the hp which is quite low so that it was amazing that we pulled what we asked for I don't know why this doesn't work with Tapu Lele, but uh, we'll, we'll see. And the last pack in this video, last but not least, is a Sun and Moon base set. Let's go for it, and then we're gonna thank all together. We're gonna thank um, Tristan. I would I would suggest you follow him on Instagram. I'm not sure if he has a YouTube account. If he does, I hope that he sees this video and he gives me the YouTube account to link in the description. But we're gonna get there. The last. All oh, right, we have an Espion DX. I'm pretty sure that I have more of these, right? Full art? Alright, I do have a secret rare. And I don't I think that I have a full art as well. No. Why do I see all the evolutions? Not just the espions. That is strange. There are quite a few. We're gonna get there at some point. I, I just don't wanna stop. I'm sorry, I just don't wanna stop for a reason. How many are they? Are you freaking kidding me? Did you know that? 
And we have quite a few EVs. I'm not gonna bother about the EVs. So this is not my card. This is not my card. This is my card. It's an Espion GX 200 HP Psychic type Pokemon with 1 energy side beam, 30 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused with 3 energy psychic, 60 damage. This attack does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Interesting. And with 3 energy, divide GX. Put 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. You know, you may win with such uh, strategies. So. My friends, that concludes the free cards by email, or actually the free cards by Instagram from Tristan000k. I'm going to link his Instagram profile in the description of this video. If you want, go ahead and follow him on Instagram. If you are watching this video, Tristan, I really, really want to thank you for your code cards. As you saw, I got quite a few amazing cards. Uh, I also got a few amazing cards from the code cards themselves, like um, Tapu Coco and Tapu Coco. And um, I'm going to donate these, I'm going to actually give those uh, Burning Winds, those theme decks that I already have to the community via my website when it, when it is ready. It's not yet, I'm sorry for this. So, again, thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. If you want to donate to the channel, you know how to do that. Just message me on any of my social media that you will find in the description of this video. Um, and just send me your uh, screenshots, your code cards, your photos of your code cards, or if you want, you can also trade via the in-game trade system. Um, I really, really, really need Tapu Leles. You probably know that already, I have zero, so I really need one, uh, a two basically. So if you have one, I'm also willing to trade, but if you have one for free, that would be really freaking awesome of you. So thank you again. Check out your screen right now to see other videos that might interest you. Subscribe if you're new, hit the subscribe button very, very hard, and like if you haven't done already. The pools were crazy, so they deserve one of your likes. Don't they do that now? And hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Until then, take very, very good care, and bye.